What's up, boys? New quad here in the garage. Um, had this one for a few weeks. Got a lot of work done to it. Right now, we are reviewing the timing, number one, and number two, checking the valves. Um, I did this a few weeks ago, but I had to take it back apart because it was leaking some oil from right here, and the bolts on the top were rigged up. They weren't the right bolts. So first off, make sure your bike is top to center. Pop these covers off. Sometimes they're stuck on there, um, so take a flat head and just hit a hammer the direction that it's supposed to go. should come right off. Second, you want to make sure that the bike is top dead center. So looking in here, make sure the bike is top dead center. So you'll see, it's hard to tell here, but you'll see a T, an O, a line, and a T. Then there's another line at the bottom here. It's really hard to zoom in, but you see that line at the bottom right here? That one has to line up with this. That's how you know you're top dead center. Um, you also want to make sure you're not 180 out when you're doing this. So if you see these two dots, they should be in line with the case, with the head. If they're not, you want to make sure you adjust your uh, your cams to make sure they're they're in line with the case. Um, there could be other issues, but that's that's normally that's the rule of thumb. You want to make sure those align with the case. If they're not, you got to take the tensioner out, loosen the four bolts on the cam. And then you can move the cam, the gears on the cam on the chain to, to make them line up. You got to make sure it stays top to center when you do that. So what we're doing now is I already did that. This, this, this intake cam was actually out of adjustment by one tooth. So I had to switch that over. So I did all that a few weeks ago. So now what I'm doing is just rechecking the valves. I had to take this cover back off because it was leaking oil. Um, so I just adjusted the valves, but... Basically what you do is when you're in here, there's gonna be a locking nut. So let's look at this front and exhaust. So this locking nut right here, you wanna put a screwdriver or flathead in this top piece and you can loosen this. Um, you wanna make sure the bike stays top dead center for this, but what you're gonna do is once you loosen that, you can adjust the valve lash. So let me show you that. Get my feeler gauge. So for this bike, it is, it's not going to zoom in, but it's eight thousandths of an inch. So what you do is I bend mine up a little bit like this, and you could just shove it underneath into like where the valve flash is. So it should slide in pretty smooth like this one does. All of them go in pretty smooth. You don't want it to be too tight. This one's borderline too tight, but it does slide in pretty smooth, so I'm going to leave it. And the tolerance is actually less than, than that, so it's fine. As long as a, a nine thousandths doesn't go in, I think it's good. So once they're if they're out of adjustment, you just basically have to adjust this flathead part. And then once it gets to this tolerance under here, then you're you're pretty much good, and you can tighten up the the jam nut. Um, I think that's it for, for that. Once you get it all done, you want to make sure you just tighten these these jam nuts holding the flathead so the, the adjustment that you just made doesn't move. Um, then you should be good to adjust the valves there. That's pretty self-explanatory. There's a few other things we got, we did to this bike. Um, I had to take the the whole carburetor part a few times because it, was, it wasn't running right. I could probably try to find a video of it, but it ran like shit. It turned out the diaphragm wasn't sealing correctly up here on the top. And the needle jet was an aftermarket needle um, causing it not to run right. So I got all that figured out. But let me wrap this up. Um, I'm going to look in the manual right now because the oil leak that I had from here, I'm pretty sure the manual calls for some sealer here on both sides. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I got OEM bolts. So put some sealer here and then call it a day. Take some riding videos after I'm done. Should fire right up. But. Tension on the chain is good. This is an auto adjuster. So, looks good.